Nearly 2 million people visit Hot Springs National Park each year. The namesake attraction is a big draw for the area. You're right out there on Central Avenue. We appreciate you all coming down to visit us down there. But what actually makes the water in Hot Springs so hot? THV 11 Simone Thomas gets us the steamy secret. The Hot Springs here at Hot Springs National Park is just one of the many attractions that are unique to the natural state. But have you ever wondered, just how did they get here? <laughs> Dr. Chase Holhauser uncaps one of the many hot springs at Arkansas's only national park. Those covers help keep the famous water clean and visitors safe. There's a lot of people who think that these springs are heated by volcanic activity. There's a large magma chamber underneath us, uh, kind of like what people think of with the uh, hot springs in Yellowstone mm -hmm. or some of the other thermal springs in the Rocky Mountains, and that's absolutely not true. Instead, Bubbling deep beneath the surface at a scorching 150 degrees is a piece of Arkansas history that predates much of recorded history. The formation of our springs actually goes back several hundreds of millions of years. Dr. Holhauser says when the continent started coming together 350 million years ago, that created the Washita Mountain Formation. That is the mountain producing event that laid down all of these different types of sediment and created the unique geology underneath the surface that allowed these springs to happen. Special rocks and their formations at the hot springs allow water to seep deep beneath the earth's surface. We're talking up to 8,000 feet down. Once you start getting that low, you start getting closer and closer to the mantle. Okay, you, you experience what's called a geothermal gradient. It's the earth's natural tendency to get hotter as you go deeper into the soil. While that trip deep into the earth can last more than 4,000 years, the journey back up is much faster, only taking about two years. It might not seem that fast, but it's quick enough that very little heat is lost as the water races back up to the surface. We're getting very clean air coming off of this, this algal mat right there. This water is way too hot for bathing or drinking, which is why many of the springs remain capped off for safety though a select few are left open for visitors to experience the magic of the springs. As for the rest of the heated water, it must go on another journey. After we pipe the water from the springs to our collection tank, mm -hmm. uh, we then pipe it to this cooling tower right here. And this works very similar to like the radiator on your car mm -hmm. where it's just air cooled. From there, it makes its way to the bathhouses that help make the namesake city so famous for one of the hottest attractions in the natural state. In Hot Springs, Simone Thomas, THV 11 News.